Welcome to our course on Small Talk in English. Over 14 lessons, we will show you many different aspects of small talk, why it is important, and how to get better at it. As a result, you'll be better able to connect and be liked. In this first lesson, we discuss what is small talk. Welcome to Happy English Learning. First, please watch two examples of small talk. Which do you think is better? Hi. Hi. Have you come far? Uh, no. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm, yes. Well, see you later. Uh, yes. Hi. Oh, hi. Have you come far? Uh, yeah, a couple of hours by car from Leicester. Leicester. Oh, that's a nice place. Oh, thank you. Yes. How about yourself? Uh, I came from London and I took the train. It took um, about a couple of hours. It was nice to relax on the train. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good thing about the train is you, is you can relax. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, by the way, my name is Keiko. Oh, Keiko. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, Keiko. Sounds like cake. Cake. Oh, that's a good way to remember it. Yes. Um, I'm Neil. N-E-I-L. Neil. Nice to meet you, Neil. Uh, nice to meet you too. As is probably clear to you, example two is better because two people use different strategies for successful small talk. In this course, we will look at these different strategies one by one. We'd like to begin with a question. Are you good at small talk? It sounds as if it would be easy to answer yes. After all, it's something we do all the time. But it's surprising how many people will say they're not good. In one recent survey, 70% of people said that they weren't good at small talk. So if you said no, you're not alone. But this course will help you change your answer into a yes. In this first lesson, we will cover four basic questions to give you some background into small talk. First, what is small talk? Second, who do we have small talk with? Third, what types of small talk are there? And the most important question, fourth, why is small talk important? So let's start with our first question. What is small talk? Small talk is usually a short conversation in which we do not talk about anything too important. In other words, in small talk, we do not engage in long, serious talks which are too personal or business-like. But we choose lighter topics, such as the weather, what we did last weekend, or a recent funny story. In a way, small talk is talking about nothing in particular. Small talk usually ends quite quickly, let's say in about five minutes or less. You might think small talk is not so important, but this is not true. Small talk is very, very important in our lives. We have small talk with everybody. For example, our family, our friends, our colleagues, with someone you've just met, with our neighbors, or a romantic date. Well, we have small talk pretty much with everybody. There are several types of small talk. We can divide these into two according to what kind of people we are talking to and at what stage of the conversation we are at. Firstly, our small talk will be different according to whether we've already met somebody or if they are new. With people we already know, perhaps we have many things in common, so we can start our small talk by focusing on one of these common points. However, with someone we have just met, we will be searching from the beginning for something in common. This can be challenging, but is also a lot of fun to do, and why small talk can be very rewarding. Secondly, our small talk will vary according to the stage of conversation. At the beginning, we need to open up our talk in a good way. Then we need to continue it and find something in common so we can bond. We also need to try and avoid awkward silences by using filling language, such as, hmm, uh, okay, and so on. 
and then we need to end the small talk nicely, perhaps as a way to move on to big talk. So why is small talk so important? It's probably safe to say that almost every relationship begins with small talk. Such initial talk between two people creates a social bond. Through this small talk, we can find out quite a lot about each other. And from this, we can move on to more serious or personal or business issues. That is how small talk can lead to big talk. For small talk to be effective and for us to create a bond with another person, we need to find something in common with each other. We've seen this featured in several slides and finding something in common is the key to successful small talk. It's hard to carry out deeper talk if we don't have this common bond, no matter how small it may be. So keep this in mind. Finding something in common is the important point about small talk. Now we hope that you understand how important small talk is. By the end of this course, you will understand many different aspects of small talk and you will learn necessary language skills and tips to make effective small talk. And with your increased knowledge and skills, you will improve the quality of your small talk. This will help you connect to and be liked by other people. We are sure it's going to be an exciting journey. In the next lecture, we move on to first impressions and body language. Welcome to Happy English Learning.